Well, good morning. I had met a dealer who was really knowledgeable about the silver fields in Cobalt. And he was able to look at the silver that we we're finding metal detecting and determine what part of the vein was actually being harvested. Now, if you go back to like 1905, when the veins were extremely rich, they were mostly focusing on veins that were up to 4,000 ounces to the ton. Uh, some were almost pure silver and they would harvest, you know, using dynamite and picks and axes and wheelbarrows, that sort of thing and then load, hand sort, and load the, uh, the silver into bags and then send it away uh, to, be, to be processed. But when he described it, let me just grab something here. Here's a typical color of what you find. To him, that was side vein. If you get into something darker like this, that was his description of what he called main vein. So assuming this is main vein, I think it ought to clean up really, really nice. So let's give it a go and see whether or not we don't have something spectacular when right now it looks like just a, a black hunk. Um, that is just over one and a half pounds. As you can see, it's not huge. Uh, I can see a little bit of silver coming through. And on this side, you can see the red urethrite. But that was a little plate of vein. So let's see what we have. Okay, so what I have here is a little tiny carbide bit. Let's chew away some of this rock. Feel like you're at the dentist? <laughs> Wash it. See how it looks. Eh. It's it's better than it was. Eh, I don't know. I think some more efforts required. What do you think? Let's wash that. There's a little bit coming through, but I would have expected more. Let's do something a little different. So this will be my secret ingredient. If I don't know what else to do, I'll use super iron out. Uh, I can't say enough about the stuff for uh, cleaning rocks. Let's see how it works. All right, so I've added the iron out to the water. 
and you'll notice that it's bubbling which is a good sign it's working um, it's doing something probably the citric acid is attacking something now the key here is if you want to not waste your money is even after it stopped bubbling is leave it in I tend to do it overnight at least a few hours it really uh, will continue to work uh, for a long time after the bubbling has stopped.